All right, guys, it's uh, Friday night, uh, January the 22nd. It's the weekend officially after deer season. Deer season is over, so we are now focusing on pigs. Um, this is a weekend that a lot of guys at the deer lease like to bring their dogs um, and just let them loose. Tomorrow morning, we're gonna start around 7.30 a.m. I invited one of my buddies, JT. We go way back. He's gonna bring his boy, Colby, both of those guys are avid hunters and they're excited to come do this hunt with us. They've, they've never run dogs like this on pigs before. I've only done it once. Um, so yeah, we are excited uh, and hopefully bay at least one pig. If, if, if I get to experience baying one pig, I'll be happy. You gonna get some action or what? Come on, man, we were waiting on you, man. You know where the hog wallers are? Yes, sir. The pump and Johnny where we used to stop warm up by the radiator in the mornings. Oh, yeah. Coming back here. Okay? So when you come past that, you come up there and it tees. We used to turn left to come around over into here. Turn right and it goes around there to where that hardwood's on the left and there's a gate. That's That gate's right up here. They're right in here where from I, us. Where I walk in there, we that Yes. Three years ago, with this good some boys do. He don't come to his whole life. He got out of it, went to running beagles and everything else. You know, I've had Brody tie them and untie them since he's about ten. That's what I told him. Well, we catch him, buddy. What if we got to turn this big stuff into loose? We get caught. That's gonna be fun. Depending on his attitude when he's got to go. I said you cut the nuts out of him. We have. Video, you sent me old Ryan Shavers. They cut that one at camp or something. Oh yeah, they yeah. put him up on the tailgate. Yeah, got him too, yeah. Him. Cut his rubber boots and everything. Like Little Ryan standing in the back of the truck already, wait. Yeah, oh, I roped him. He was gonna blow down. I roped him. <laughs> and he went on he went on the log. But when he went on the log, I I done him like this, but he just turned back around a little bit. I got a hold of his leg. <laughs> now he come out over the tree and he got 
a little bit, and that got him his front feet on the ground, his ass up on the wall. She said, hold him right there. Hold him, what do you mean hold him? So the camera go away and stick his leg out and wipe his balls off. He said, all right, now Pop, turn him loose. I can get out He's not happy. Yeah. He's chopping up. Is he warning him? Oh, he's yeah. sharpening him. Yeah, that's absolutely. Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You see his ear or something? Uh, one? Mm hmm. Oh, hell no. Do you know. have like guns like ready to shoot it if it gets undone? Is cap guns count? All right, so get ready for this next clip. It's not for everybody, but hey, it's YouTube, so you're gonna find all kinds of stuff like this on YouTube. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. This next clip is the barring of a hog or castrating, if you will. Now, there are three main reasons why we do this. Number one, when you castrate them, obviously, they cannot breed anymore. Number two, it removes the testosterone levels from the pig. And uh, if you were to hunt this pig in the future, come across it in the woods again, the meat would taste so much better because it doesn't have those high testosterone levels. And number three, after you castrate a pig, the pig grows bigger and stronger and larger tusks. So, so in the future, this pig could be a very nice trophy for someone. The way that we know if you come across this pig is we're gonna clip the ears and the tail. So. If you're out there in the woods and you happen to come across a pig that has clipped ears, then hey, it may be a bar hog. So stay tuned for this next clip and get ready. I think the dogs already did a number on that ear. Watch him jump. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I'll castrate him first. Listen for the squeal.
He heard you when you said that. Yeah, he did a little lighter in the ass end. Yeah, he heard you. He said, I'll show you lighter in the ass end yeah. in a minute. Tell where I'm going to be when they turn them loose. It ain't right here. There we go. That's white food house too, right? Oh, be sharpening them up. Get out of here. Oh. 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 Oh.